What's up, YouTube? Thank you for joining today's episode of From Setbacks to Success. We're going to jump right into today's episode and talk about, you know, how do you win big using artificial intelligence as an entrepreneur? And I have a very special guest today, a good friend of mine, Ty Shane How Ty, what's up? What's good, my brother? How are you doing today? Hey, good, Quincy. Thanks for having me on here. I'm excited for this yeah, topic. Yeah, bro. You know, you, you're you a favorite here, man. We talked about on our last episode, chat GPT and util- utilizing artificial intelligence uh, because that's something that's here. It's coming down the pipeline. You got the chat GPT 4.0 version. I just got locked in on that yesterday. But we want to just talk about that and other aspects of artificial intelligence that entrepreneurs can use to, again, you know, get paid, uh, have successful businesses uh, that they're starting and running. And uh, let's just, again, get into it. So first question for today, how do business owners use, how can business owners, and we'll just talk, we'll start small. How do small business owners use artificial intelligence, AI, to market their businesses today? So I think, I think, so generally speaking, you pay people for their wealth of knowledge and their wealth of experience as well as, um, yeah, just what they know and the principles and the frameworks and the different components and formulas that make what they do work. And so what AI does for anyone coming into business is you can fill in those gaps and you can create personas and you can call upon these personas based on different industries and different definitives of that persona um, for, you know, it could be a CFO, it could be a COO, it could be a CPO, it could be your co-founder. And you can, I'm just saying, so like just on a basic um, use case, you can, um, you can get a more holistic, uh, you know, strategy behind your business without having to have $50,000 to go pay all these different people for their time or for their services. And so while you may not be like specifically calling on this human being's lived lived experience, you're calling on like historical data and historical trends and like literally trillions of sets of data. And so um, it, 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 it acts as a proxy source for that kind of information. And so on a very basic level, that's one. And so, like, someone I follow on Instagram, um, uh, uh, Mr. Grateful, uh, he introduces you to the concept of creating different threads just in ChatGPT as personas. And then so you can be a single, you can be a solopreneur, you can be a small business owner, and you can create personas in different threads in the paid version of ChatGPT 4. Okay. And you can have a CFO, a CTO, a COO, a co-founder. You can have your HR, like you can have your marketing, you can have all these different, you know, uh, personas. And so you no longer have to go into the trenches alone like you used to. You know, that's uh, something that we talked about before. And I think that's uh, fascinating to to know that you could bring in the expertise of someone who has, you know, We'll just we'll just go with the top dog. You could bring Elon Musk as your uh, the persona using, you know, everything that has been collected about his thoughts, beliefs, ideas uh, related to business. Well, I think we are seeing the most disruptive force in history here. Um, you know, where we have for the first time, we will have the first time something that is smarter than the smartest human. Um, and that. I mean, it's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but, but there will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. So you could bring him in as the, say, CEO of your company, that persona, uh, using artificial intelligence. And he, uh, that persona, artificially created persona, is going to advise you in the way and speak to you in a way that Elon Musk would, or very similar to that. Is that what you're saying? Essentially, how uh, AI is being used to essentially staff up uh, artificially uh, your organization, even if you're just a, a one man show, a one woman show? 
Yeah, exactly. So you can use like a, a Kevin O'Leary, you know, Mark Cuban. You can bring all these people. You can bring people back from the history. So like, obviously, while this isn't like specifically like actually this person, it's built on everything revolving around that person. So like if you brought Grant Cardone in, guess what's involved? All of his books, all the stuff that he has ever created is included in that. And so that's what all those responses will be based off of is everything that this person has put out into the world, whether it was digitally, whether it was, you know, published, all of that is going to be included in that. Now, and so it, that's, now that, and that's great. Thank you for sharing that. So now just specific, you know, staying with that, what are, is there going to be, it, you know, those personas? And I think you did mention it, but can, are those set up in just chat GPT or is this some other type of, app or software that 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 is being used to to do that actually now is it does this currently exist well i mean there's different like offshoot apps that all just basically api connect right into um the the open ai um access point and so um i mean just generally speaking all it is is configuring whatever it is you're using so i say you're using cloud.ai or perplexity.ai or another AI engine or BARD, whatever the configurations are. So like in ChatGPT specifically, you can create different threads and then you just train each. How do you keep GPT's memory sharp? If GPT is giving more old man Jenkins than supercomputer genius, you can use follow-up prompts better. Follow-up prompts in the same thread let you go deeper on a subject while maintaining context. For example, following our perfect prompt structure from day 11, our initial prompt may be, you are rap GPT, an expert in hip hop music. Find and provide three one-line song quotes by Drake for my Instagram caption. The output quote should be from his album Views. It should be sad for my lonely followers. All of my let's just be friends. Hold on. We hit 50K, follow-up prompt. Instead, find a motivational song quote for the people who helped us get this far and add an emoji. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Perfect. Started from the Notice I didn't have to retell it that it was rap GPT. I didn't have to tell it to source the quote from Drake. I didn't have to tell it to give us the song reference. This is because GPT uses context from our conversation to give us relevant answers. So don't input another request about a different topic under the same conversation. Instead of asking rap GPT for a vegan recipe, we can just create a new thread and name it vegan GPT. I recommend you create a new thread for each expert of GPT that you want to consult with. My entire 15 days of agent gpt has been in the same thread this way it can reference my metrics my brand voice and my transcripts to give me better ideas over time follow for part three of perfect prompting i'm dominic mr grateful peace thread under under each of those different guises and so you almost and you like you like prompt okay. to lock in that entire thread as that persona and so like you start off the first prompt in that whole thing basically secures that as always coming first and mm -hmm. so no matter what you do beyond that point, it will always reflect and refer to that first one and then everything that follows after. Deep, so it man. Builds, like, it, yeah. builds a, it builds a memory. So you keep training it on your business. So like if you create a co-founder and you plug it in all your stats and your things and you're speaking to it like you would an actual co-founder and you're sharing documents, you're sharing invoices, you're sharing the stats, you're uploading PDFs into there, you're uploading Excel spreadsheets into there and then the chat CBT is analyzing all this information you can compute in ways that you never could have before as a solopreneur or a small medium business owner. And as I say all this, I should be more gung-ho about doing it. And so like, I understand though, when you're wearing 20 hats, it's hard to like stop, put all the hats down and like look at a new way of wearing hats. Right. So you have to kind of slow down and stop and basically pause for a second to like integrate this, you know, to its you know fullest potential. So it's maybe a little bit harder to put into practice because it's so different, different way of doing it. You okay. Know? And so, but, but yeah, but it's, that's where we're moving towards. Hey man, that is awesome, man. That, and I appreciate you dropping that, man. I hope everybody watching yeah. and listening, man, can, can grab a hold of that and, and start using these tools that are available right now for uh, planning for 2024. Uh, we're going into now to uh, level up and, and move forward in their business. So thank you for that. Uh, next question. What are some cool ways that entrepreneurs can use AI power chatbots with their customers and their questions to make them happy? Oh yeah. So this is a super, this is really evolving. So first of all, it all comes down to like, what is the communication channel? Okay. What is the purpose? What is the objective? 
So obviously the channel and the place will probably, you know, reflect into the objective. And so there's like, for example, many chat. So it just comes down to using the right software, the right tools. So many chat, for example, would be a kind of like a, a baseline AI for social media. So it interacts with your pages, you know, posts, then you can take them right to the DMs and then it okay. automates that. Okay. And so, and then at the same time, like go high level, you integrate chat CPT prompt communication into SMS, into email, into mm. um, Google My Business, into yes. um, Instagram, into Facebook Messenger. And, and, but the thing is, is, is these avenues of communicating exist all, there's just so many different forms. So it, it just depends on what's best fit for what you need. It's like the in GPT-4 as well, you can now create these custom GPT bots. And so obviously these are all evolving different services and different like tools on uh, like right Sonic. So, so right Sonic is a tool that I use. So it's GPT. It, they okay. just plug in GPT four with their own, you know, extensions on it, but it's just basically pre prompts everything. And it's just really like reputable for the quality yes. of how it prompts everything for you. So it just takes out a lot of the guessing work, which who doesn't like, no, I'm That's not right. to guess all the time. So I'll um, right. write Sonic and it's like Sonic bot. So like there's just so many different ways. In go high level, you can create these little bots. You can do um now you can train the and you train these bots on like industry knowledge, um, you know, company specific knowledge. Um, you can train it on whatever sets of information you want it to. Then it just comes down to is like where did you get this bot? What are the costs associated with the outputs? Anything that's calling from ChatGPT, so from a, uh, Open AI's um, API, um, there's mm -hmm. going to be a charge every call. Every call has a fee attached to it. So it just depends what you're what you're what you're working with. Which but goes there's so many options. Yeah, yeah, so many options, and so. And, you know, that that's uh, like I said, there's a lot of ways to go with this. And I hope that we can at least create the general framework for people watching and listening of what uh, AI can do. And then uh, hopefully uh, if they have more specific questions in terms of applications, then that's why we have you here, you know, as an expert, they can always uh, lock in and uh, we'll we'll share you some of your uh, social media and ways to contact you so that you can see specifically how you can implement some of these things in your business uh, specifically. So going to the next question, I may have should have may should have started with this question because a lot of times of the things that I, I come across with with people who, you know, they're just trying to get their business off the ground. They're just doing the basics, forming an LLC and getting a website and and, and doing maybe the the net thirties and trying to establish business business lines lines of credit and and just those things. Uh, one of the questions is is that can AI assist a, a small business owner entrepreneur budding entrepreneur in getting business lines of credit, business cards, and funding for their business essentially? Uh, so first of all, uh, yes. In, in certain components, this also comes down to like where your gaps are. So like, is it um, creating something um, that is legal based? Is it understanding how contracts function? Is it understanding your situation to understand what the context of your next decision should be? Um, it's also, if anyone's in it, like you are, um, okay. it's a huge window of opportunity because what processes can be streamlined what um, databases can be connected and, you know, if driven by artificial intelligence can direct people to the right things without having to manually go through all these different things. So there's a huge amount of opportunity there. Um, it, the, one of the best things, generally speaking, is if there's a process or anything that you need help with, you just go to Google and you search what it is and then type right. AI tool or AI Hmm. And just do, just play with that. And that's literally all I do. So like people will, oh, I wow. used to, people, okay. people would message me, would message me and they say, hey, is there a tool for this? And I just say, <laughs> Google, the exact thing you just asked for, and then AI tool. And so that's right. now like, so like literally that's a good one. But for people, yeah. who, um, if you need a place to go to, so like if this is what you're doing, just, this is kind of off on that. It's fastpedia.io, F-A-S-T-P-E-D. IA.io and it okay. will have all sorts of tools across all sorts of different things. 
Um, and so just specifically for this, um, understanding things, AI can help you understand anything. Um, there might be a tool out there that someone is already putting together where it's going to allow you to, you know, communicate with all these different things. Um, and it will like propagate stuff that maybe previously, um, you would have had to manually have gone through in order okay. to, I don't know what it would be from like a, a user end experience. Right. Um, okay. So, but I mean, it's coming into everything. So if it's not there and you're looking for a business idea and you notice that it doesn't exist, maybe change your business idea <laughs> okay, and, tackle, okay. and tackle the, the demand and the need. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. You know, uh, if you, if you don't see it, create it. And, uh, and, but I think the, the key point there is if you, if you're not sure if it exists, Google it and just add, you know, AI powered tools. Is that what you said? Basically just to see if literally, you know how I found so many cool things, you know, how I found all the things. Like it's, it's crazy. I'll see what someone's doing. I'll be like, how are they doing this? And right. then I'll think, okay. So Grant Cardone, this is how I found out about many chat. Grant Cardone, I commented on one of his things and then he automatically took me to DMs and I'm like, boom, automation. Mm. Where did this come from? And so I went to Google and I right. did Facebook post automation AI. And boom, I found mini chat. You found so mini like, chat. It, it, it's yeah. literally that simple to find gotcha. anything. And so, like, you need something for hiring. If you need something for credits, like, it just, yeah, I, I, who knows? But windows of opportunity. Oh, man. <laughs> well, you're lacing us up again, man. Plenty of game here, but I hope y'all tuning in and, and taking notes and getting this down. This is, this is it right here. Thank you, brother. Thank you. So, uh, with that, and you kind of just, you know, alluded to some of those things, but what are some other ways that you're using AI to in your business and to grow your business currently? So obviously writing things out, contracts. Um, I don't know anything about contracts. For me, copy, video editing, I mean, things that used to cost you 15 to $30 a video, you can now literally do for an That's entire right. month for that same cost of one video. Um, so I just find things that I don't know how to do and that I need help with. And I was like, Hey, how can AI help me fill this gap? Um, if it's, if it's script writing, if it's coming up ideating different, you know, uh, uh, branches for, uh, co uh, content pillars, like what, where do you take different things? What are my options? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it just comes down to knowing the right tools and resources. So that, that for me is just, it's just like, what do I not know? What do I need help with? Um, I'm digitizing myself right now. So I use HN to digitize myself. And so that's going to be digital leverage. So when I have my VAs, like they can use my likeness, they can create things underneath me without me having to actually create it. So now I can mm. do this, be filming here, doing that. And so that's kind of where the evolution of all this is going. Um, I mean, so, but it's still, you have to implement it too. So like, yes, no, okay. you can use it, but it's like, <laughs> we, we, we already have a lot of the gaps we have because our capacity is already filled as like based on where we're at. So like at least understanding where your solutions are at and how you can get to them. I'm um, around AI, like just like before, um, Google, Google find out what it is. Um, so for me, that's, that's kind of the breakdown, like right now of how I use it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, man, that's great. That's great. And uh, I, I did hear you insert, you know, the use of VAs, virtual assistants. Uh, it seems like that's a tool that a lot of people, uh, business owners are leaning. Uh, I, I mean, it's it's been around for some time, uh, but it, I just hear more and more people who are trying to really grow their businesses and, and eliminate a lot of their their uh, expenses overhead you have virtual assistants you have virtual office spaces you have a lot of things that you can do you know where it doesn't cost you a whole lot of money to get started so you can try to you know give yourself the best opportunity to succeed early on and win you know score big uh sooner rather than later so good deal man so uh last thing is uh, tell me more uh Again, and I want to thank you again for your time and your, your insights. But tell tell us a little bit more about your specific company, what you're doing, what are the services that you provide, and how do people reach you? Yeah, so cold email. Um, so basically, it's outbound at scale. It's email has literally withstood the test of time. Every high decision maker, every person of power uses email. And so we can get into email inboxes. Um, for example, like, 
I didn't even expect this, but it was in, in our list. And so we emailed thousands of people and inside that was one of the C-suites of Amazon. And we okay. just scheduled a meeting with one of the C-suite decision makers of Amazon for one of my clients. And that just got caught in reaching out to thousands of people at the same time. And so that is basically, is how do you get in front of your ICPs and the people that you need to get in front of to have conversations with to move your business, whether that's a demo, whether it's a partnership, whether that's anything, it doesn't matter. Like if this person, if you can exchange value, email can get you in front of anybody. And so that's what we do. We're integrating more with AI, uh, for example, like clay.com. Um, we're trying to find different ways to really like continue to grow with the AI revolution, not get left behind. Because if, if AI is not included in your, if you're a digital business of any form and AI is not included in your processes and your systems within the next six months, expect to not last more than like 12 to 18 months from then because everyone else is and they're going to outmaneuver the crap out of you. Yeah. Um, yes. So, that's, yeah. that's where it's headed, man. And I, I'm trying to stay on that train, man. I, I, I don't, I'm, I don't want to get outmaneuvered this early in the game. So yeah, man, I no, think you're the one outmaneuvering though. Cause look at this, look at your sweet setup already. Like you start now with all the little things that before didn't even exist. You got them right here in here. So you're good. You're already on it. I don't know, man, the way they talk about it, you can be, feel like you're on top uh one minute and with ai man you you're out of it the next so i i gotta stay alert man head on a swivel you know so uh yeah so i appreciate these conversations man you are keeping me on my you know on my toes man I, and uh so because this is a truly a revolution that's taking place and 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 people need to understand it you know to the fullest and and start getting to the point where they uh feel knowledgeable and comfortable about how to to implement these things into the day-to-day -day lives and into their business lives so brother i appreciate you as always my man todd thank you so much always don't let your setback stop you from your success we love you peace